Hello viewers, this is your history teacher, Roger Michira, ready to take you through history class, the Form 4 lesson. And the topic of discussion today is United Nations. But today we'll get to look at the membership of the United Nations. Who are the members of the UN? Right? Remember in our previous class, we looked at why the UN and also what does the UN do? Now, welcome to our today's class where we get to learn about the membership of the UN and the channel you're watching is Elimu TV. Welcome class and let us learn. Now by the end of the class, learners, what do we expect? We need to know, or rather we need to state the members of the United Nations and also state what the United Nations do. Now, who and where? What does that question mean, right? Who is the UN? Rather, or rather, who are the members of the UN and where do we get the UN nations, right? Where do we get the UN offices? That is what, that is the, 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 the primary question that, that, uh, that we, are, we are going to answer today. Who are the members and also where? Good. Now, we get to know that almost all countries in the world are members of the UN, right? Almost all countries in the world are members of the UN. But currently, there are, there are currently about 191 countries in the UN, right? So we have got like 191 countries in the, UN, uh, uh, in the UN. And we have the UN headquarters in New York City, right? We have the United Nations offices in the New York City. And now we have answered who and where. We have said almost all countries in the world are members of the UN. And also we have said they are currently 191 countries in the United Nations. And where we have said is that it is the UN headquarters in the New York City. Good. And also we must get to know that the International Court of Justice, right, is located in The Hague in the Netherlands, right? Hague is very famous in Kenya. Remember after the elections, 207, 208 elections, right? Two of our, the, the president and the deputy president were taken to Hague, right? And the, the Hague is very, very, very famous in Kenya since we have been victims of that. Now let us get to look at the UN headquarters, right? In New York, that is it. That's the UN headquarters in New York. Good, you can see those images, right? The UN headquarters in New York. And if you can clearly see in the second image, you can see the Ugandan flag. You can see the Brazilian flag, good. Then the third image, you can get to see that we have got very many flags on the entrance to the United Nations offices, good. Now class, we must also know that membership of the UN is open to all peace-loving nations which accept the obligations of the charter. So for you to be a member, you must first accept and abide by the obligations of the UN Charter. And now in 1945, only 51 states had joined or rather had signed the, that, uh, the, the charter. So in 1945, we only had nine, uh, 51 states who had joined the league or who had signed the charter. And when did Kenya join the league, right? When did Kenya join the United Nations Organization? And we must note that Kenya joined the UN in 1963, 16th December 1963. And by the April 24th, Right, and by that year, 1963, 24th April, the UN membership had increased to 191, 991 states. Let us get to look at principles spelled out on the charter. What are some of the principles of the United Nations Charter? One, it is based on sovereignty of all states. Right, the UN is based on the sovereignty and equality of all its states, and also all members must fulfill the charter obligations and i say this that for you to be a member you must accept the obligations of the charter for you to sign in you must have to accept the obligations so in that case all members must have to fulfill all the obligations of 
in the charter. What does that mean? Obligations, right? If you are asking for financial support, you must have to fulfill. What of uh, military support you must have to fulfill? They must also settle international disputes peacefully, right? When you have got a dispute, they must have to settle those disputes peacefully. Then also, another thing you must get to note is that they, they must give the UN every assistance to end action, right? It takes in accordance to the charter. If the UN asks an assistance, and I've talked of the military assistance, financial assistance, right? All the member states must be willing to take action, right? Now we have looked at who and where, right? Who are the members of the UN and where are the offices? And also we have looked, we have spelled out the principles that are spelled out in the charter. Now class, I want to give you an assignment. Can we get to name five member states of the UN? We have just stated a few, right? Name five member states of the UN and also what are some of the principles of the United Nations? And for a reference, let us get to Evolving World, History and Government, Oxford University Press, the seventh edition. And as always, this is a Limit TV, the channel where we always get to watch and learn. Get in touch with us via Facebook page, right? Our Twitter account, get to contact us via SMS line and also watch our videos live, YouTube, at, uh, at Limit TV by YouTube where we, where we have got posted we have got posted uh, lessons where we get to watch and learn keep in touch with us and let us learn